Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Radio Scanners. My name is your host, Tommy Cunningham. In today's video, what we are planning to talk a little bit about, and I'm feeling really, really, really excited about talking about this today. Today, what we are going to be talking about is a place where where I want to visit sometime, and I hope everybody understands why. It's St. Louis, Missouri at their jail farm. Now the reason why I would let the Grants farm, the reason why I would like to visit this place. It's because they got a lot of stuff on their map. So like for instance, they got like, like they got a cabin you can look around. Like they are open seven days a week. Now, also looking on here, this place is owned by a pretty interesting family. This uh, Andrew Bunch, Peter Bunch. So this is honestly joined by the Bush family of the Anheuser Bush family, which I see on here, which luckily I don't see no information on here on making a video, which I think that is real interesting. So, so they got on here, so they got on here like, like, like they got questions on here, which I think, which is really interesting. They got, like, what food options are you available? They got, like, chicken strips, hamburgers, brats, hot dogs, veggie burgers, salads, drinks, and other meals. Snacks, ice cream, non-alcoholic beverages can be purchased throughout the property. Now, this right here, I just seen who I needed to contact. It was... I seen the person and I understand why. So, so he was on our family and this guy seemed like a really nice guy. His name is Zach Bucky and he's the manager of communications. And then after that, I was looking on their radio frequency thing on here. They also got a Six Flags here, which I always wanted to visit the Six Flags. But sadly, my area, doesn't have. Which like also, they also got some real good radio frequencies on here that I see. They also uh, got Caesar's, Caesar Horseshoe Casino Resort, which is their own Caesars, kind of like Horseshoe. And then after that, they got like the St. Louis Zoo, which uses a new system, summer 2022, includes Wild Care Park in Spanish Lake. So like, underlying that, then clicking on their website. This is like what I do on my thing. So like sometimes like while I'm looking on like the internet, um, I like think 
if I am, like, what, like, what kind of good stuff would I be able to do if I go there? Like, like, would I be able to do a real good radio frequency? Be, would I be able to help out any, like, while I'm there? Like, those are, like, my following questions. And the reason why I ask myself that, now, the reason why I ask myself that, it's because I do not want to get in any trouble while I'm there. Like, also, the way, the way that I find that is that I type in the, the location and I figure out, like, what kind of stuff do they use there. So, so they say right here, this is how you do it. You contact their care department. And then after that, you do honest audience research department. And then after that, you fill out the human subjects form. <coughs> or they got like their own media contacts that you contact, like Billy Birmingham, Christy Childs, Kirby Edward, Megan Peacock. All those are people that you contact before you go there. That's what I learned. Because that's the only way to go there without getting, without getting in any trouble when you guys go down. So you guys see, like, like you guys are now wondering, Tommy, so, like, once you typed in the area where you would like to go, like, what kind of things do you look for if you think about you want to take your radio scanner with you? That's a very good question. Okay, so this question will actually come in... Um, this question will actually help out whenever people go over and go look around, like at, for instance, like their radio frequencies, like what stuff do they use? Like, like because I was looking on here, the Anheuser Bush uses a Motorola Type 2 SmartNet. And it already shows on here that all their communication is encrypted. And you guys are probably wondering, Tommy, if you want to listen to encrypted communication, why don't you? Well, the question is on now, is now, is that you cannot listen to this communication without the permission of the people that work there. So let's just say, for instance, I'm wanting to go, I'm wanting to go check out the, the, get, the Gateway Arch, okay? Let's just say the gateway art, okay? Because I'm trying to stick into the exact same area that we are talking about. So then after that, I typed in their website and then after that, they pulled me up to their, to their website. And I see that they got like trim right to the top 
They got a museum of the getaway arts. They got riverboat cruises. Now, um, now they also got their own like media and press page, which I think, which is really good. You gotta fill one of these out, like, like you got a media ticket. Plus you also can download some press. You can download their fact sheet, which America's tallest man-made monument at 630 feet. This is background for visitors more than 50 years. Construction on the arts began February 12, 1963 and was put into place on October 28, 1965. It was about $13 million. So they are open summer hours, Saturday before Memorial Day through Labor Day, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Tuesday after Labor Day through Fat Friday before Memorial Day, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Last tram, approximately one hour before closing. Now their accessibility, expect a train ride to the top. All facilities that the getaway arts are wheelchair accessible. Available hearing counseling in all description are available at the Discovery Movie. They also got the old courthouse. Before the first courthouse was completed in 1838, St. Louis did not have a dedicated government building. <coughs> Official city business was contained at the church, tavern, or fort. The old courthouse was the tallest valley in St. Louis, the state of Missouri, until 1856 when the United States was built. While the Dred Scott cast loom large in the history of the old courthouse, the St. Louis Circular Court records so that more than 300 others, freedom, the freedom house, were filled there by 1860. The old church is currently close and undergoing undergo renovations as part of the first commandment at a 380 million city arts river project which is the largest project public private partnership in the history of the national park service most of the first floor of the old courthouse is wheelchair accessible but the upper floor Four gates are reached only by stairs. On the west side of the building, on Broadway, there is a wheelchair lift that divides access to the streets on the old courthouse. The river boats educate visitors with the nature of the St. Louis River boat cruises, highlight the, the history of St. Louis working place today. The National Park Service Rangers trying to get away arts, national parks, navigate to select St. Louis River boat cruises throughout the season. Times vary. Each guest during special events, wedding receptions, and private partners in delicious cuisine, light music, incredible views of St. Louis and the getaway arts. Care for writers' unique experience such as Skyline Dinner Cruise, Sunday Brunch Cruise, Blues Cruise, Decked Out Dive Cruise, Artsy Lunch Cruise, Fireworks Cruise, Lock in Dan Cruises, Oktoberfest Cruises, PJ and Pancakes with Santa Claus Cruise, a New Year's Eve Cruise, and many more can host private parties, corporate meetings, 
planning and reception, offer a variety of sit down or buffalo selection, bar arrangement, entertainment or decor. The cruise season is March or November, rain or shine, close on Thanksgiving Day. The Skyline Dinner Cruise are available through select Friday or Saturday night throughout the season. Specialty cruise dates, a complete cruise schedule of the year can be found at getawayarts.com. The dock and first floor river boats are handicapped accessible. Service dogs are welcome. So there was just a little bit about the St. Louis area. And, and, and I hope this helps you guys out understand about the history of this. Because I went here when I, when I was a little boy and I really did like it. Tomorrow's video, what we will be talking about What kind of different people uses the Rio frequencies in the St. Louis City area? I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, and have a great night.